Elon Musk says that he would not proceed with his purchase of Twitter until assurances were given to him about the bots he claims plague the platform. The $44 billion deal's future is in jeopardy. Surely there must be a way out, or does Elon Musk see this as a means to get out of the deal? Let's find out. It was out of the blue when Elon Musk warned that his $44 billion acquisition of Twitter couldn't proceed unless the firm backed up its claims that less than 5% of Twitter accounts are false. It's something he's been nitpicking about for days, but he made it a plan in a tweet early Tuesday, citing estimates that the amount of spam accounts is as high as 20%. 20% fake slash spam accounts, while four times what Twitter claims could be much higher. My offer was based on Twitter's SEC filings being accurate. Yesterday, Twitter's CEO publicly refused to show proof of less than 5%. This deal cannot move forward until he does, Elon Musk tweeted. According to recent regulatory filings, Elon Musk discussed taking Twitter private with the company's board more than a week before his initial 9.2% investment was declared as a passive holding, and more than two weeks before coming public with a $44 billion hostile bid. An all-cash bid for $54.20 a share was accepted by the board last month. But earlier this week, when the bot problem surfaced, Elon Musk said that the purchase has been put on hold until he has more information, to which he later tweeted that he was committed to the deal. On Tuesday, Elon Musk ridiculed Twitter's CEO Parag Agnarwal and warned the purchase cannot move forward without more explanation on the severity of the company's fake account problem. This put the $44 billion deal in jeopardy. But according to CEO in a Twitter thread, about 5% of daily active users are spam accounts. And Elon Musk responded with a poop emoji to Agrawal's tweet. So how do advertisers know what they're getting for their money? This is fundamental to the financial health of Twitter. Elon Musk responded in a subsequent tweet regarding the necessity of proving that Twitter users are real people. According to the CEO of Twitter, the method for estimating how many accounts are bots was shared with Elon Musk. But according to a report released on Friday by software business SparkToro, 19.42% of Twitter accounts are phony or spam, but the company concedes that its mythology for identifying bots is likely different from Twitter's. More so, on its website, SparkToro provides a tool that indicates more than 70% of Elon Musk's followers are fake profiles. For Elon Musk, ensuring the platform's freedom of speech and boosting its profitability are two of his primary goals. He has discussed this in detail in an interview with the New York Times. Moreover, in a statement to the Securities and Exchange Commission, Twitter asked its shareholders to vote in favor of Elon Musk's purchase of the company for $54.20 per share in cash. Twitter also tweeted on Tuesday that it will follow through on the deal. It said the board and Mr. Musk agreed to a transaction at $54.20 per share. We believe this agreement is in the best interest of all shareholders. We intend to close the transaction and enforce the merger agreement. It was revealed in documents released by Twitter on Tuesday that Elon Musk had previously held several days of talks about joining Twitter's board and had begun discussing a takeover as early as March 27th. Even if all other closing conditions are completed, Elon Musk could face legal action from Twitter if the Tesla CEO fails to fund his share portion as stipulated in the merger agreement. Elon Musk would be liable for a $1 billion termination charge if the deal falls through for any other reason. There is a fear that Elon Musk is going to break his deal and pay the $1 billion breakup fee so investors are selling. Since Elon Musk originally revealed his 9% position in Twitter at the beginning of last month, Twitter's stock has lost all of its gains. Shares of Twitter rose more than 3% on Tuesday to $38.76, below the $39.31 closing price on April 1st. That day was the last trading session before Tesla CEO Elon declared that he had a minority stake in the company. According to Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives, the ball is now in Twitter's court and the board is in a tough spot with no one else waiting by the altar. She added that if Twitter does not accept a lower price for the deal and Musk does actually walk, then the stock would likely see a sub-$30 level with a broken deal in this shaky market backdrop.
If Elon Musk really walked out of the deal, what would be the outcome? Only time can tell. Subscribe and click the video on the screen about the newest Elon Musk news. It's super interesting.